So in my many videos, I have told you that engineering is a lot more than just your engineering subjects as it also involves subjects like physics, chemistry and maths. In couple of my videos, I have told you the syllabus of physics and maths and in this video, I am going to tell you the syllabus of chemistry that you are going to study in your engineering. Coming up! Alright, let's get into the video. So, chemistry is not only just theory but it also has the practicals. You have a almost like a 100 marks chemistry syllabus that you go and write in your exams and at the same time you'll also have to give some practicals just the way you had in your plus one and plus two. Now engineering chemistry is divided into four sections namely A, B, C and D. Also they have certain 15 practicals that I'm also going to tell you. Also I'll tell you one book that is very famous that if you read it you'll be good enough to crack your chemistry with a very good score. Let's get into it. So the first section that you're going to study in your chemistry theory will involve two topics having said the first one will be phase rule and the second one will be catalysis the phase rule will cover topics like two component system one component system simple eutectic system uh, a system with incongruating melting point and cooling curves whereas catalysis section will have homogeneous catalysis heterogeneous catalysis mechanism of catalytic action concept of promoters, inhibitors and poisoners. Now I believe out of these two topics you will be much more comfortable in studying the catalysis. Also remember that in most of the cases uh, you will be asked the questions only from one part of a section that is uh, suppose you have two sections of phase rule and uh, catalysis. The question paper will be designed in such a way that you have the most of the question will come from only one section okay you'll get an option either you attend this question or that question one question will be from phase rule and other question will be for catalysis in most of the universities and colleges but that does not mean that you will study only one part of a section study both of them but uh, focus on one section a lot more the second section that you'll find involves about the water treatment which is again divided into two parts water and its treatment one and water and treatment too. The first one will talk about the sources of water, impurities, the unit of hardness, alkalinity of water, boiler corrosion and caustic embrittlement. What was that? Embrittlement, right? Whereas the second section of water treatment will have lime soda treatment, zeolite, iron exchange process and sedimentation, filtration. This section B is going to be a little easy than the all other sections because uh, it's simple easy there's not much of the numericals involved so you'll be able to score good in this section the section c comes with again two topics the first one is corrosion and its prevention and the second one is lubrication and lubricants having said again corrosion will involve mechanism of dry and wet corrosion electroplating um, galvanizations factors affecting corrosions type of corrosions differential aeration of corrosion stress corrosion this section is a lot more like a theory whereas lubrication and lubricants will involve introduction mechanism of lubrications viscosity viscosity index numerical problem present viscosity biodegradable lubricants again i believe the chemistry syllabus is not that tough and you can of course grab it and if you have studied uh, your plus one plus two chemistry well these topics will be very much familiar to you section d involves Polymers and polymerization, which talks about the introduction and classification of polymers, mechanism of polymerization, effect of structure on properties of polymers, biopolymerizations, and PVC, PVA, Teflon, thermosetting, PF, natural elastomers. Very simple topic, nothing much tough. The second topic for the section D will have instrumental methods of analysis that will talk about the principle and application of thermal methods of analysis like TGA, DTA and DSC. Also it will have questions from uh, emission spectroscopy, different spectroscopic techniques like UV visible and IR spectroscopy. Having said that all these four sections, uh, if you study one part of every sections well you can of course pass it with a decent marks that's how the crack is 
but if you study both the topics of every section you can grab it very well having said that the book that you should um, i believe uh, read is the first one is engineering chemistry that's written by pc jen monica jan and the publisher is dhanpat rayan corporation this is one of the very famous book of engineering chemistry also if you want to take a reference book you can take uh, physical chemistry that pw atlin that is by oxford press <laughs> okay having uh, i've said having said a lot right so uh, that was about the theoretical uh, chemistry now let's move on to the practical that you will be doing there are almost like 10 to 15 practicals some to name are the determination of alkalinity of water samples um, to find out the saponification number of an oil estimation of total iron in an iron alloy to prepare a fresh phenol formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde resin these are quite interesting uh, practicals uh, you'll go over there and you'll enjoy it, it, it's good i believe engineering when it involves all these subjects give you an exposure of not just about your field maybe computer science but also a glimpse of mechanical engineering civil engineering electrical engineering your physics chemistry math and all so engineering is all in all a very good stream if you have opted for if you have any doubt about engineering you can drop in the comment section below i would be very happy to answer that and thank you so much for your continuous support uh, nowadays i receive a very good response from you all so if you have any query just let me know and if you have any suggestions for any new video that you want me to come uh, drop your suggestions in the comment section below and i'll make sure that i come up with the video very soon all the best for your future engineering uh, graduation of four years uh, work hard succeed and enjoy your college life that's all from my side in this video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel my name is Stephen simon see you in the next video